Hey there everyone, Ramesh here back again with another video. In this video, we'll see how to use a Java record class as a DTO class to transfer the data between client and server. In one of the previous video, I have published a video on creating a Spring Boot project for banking application, right? So in this banking application, I have used normal Java class as a DTO class to transfer the data between client and server. And many of you suggested like, can we use you know java record class as a dto class to transfer the data between client and server so in this video i am going to cover the same without further ado let us get started well if you look at the banking application code here we have used a normal class as a dto class to transfer the data between client and server now we, we are using java 17 plus so we can utilize the latest feature of java right so record class is a special type of class which is introduced in java 16 so we can use record class to transfer the data between client and server and the record class basically is a special kind of class that helps you to encapsulate a related data without the need for boilerplate code it means once we create a record class then java compiler will automatically generate a getter methods setter methods constructors equals hash code and two string methods so in normal java class we have to manually create all these boilerplate code right but this java record class tells java compiler to automatically generate all this boilerplate code using record class as a dto in a spring boot application is a modern and efficient approach to encapsulating data transfer between application layers so basically record class holds the immutable data and it is a good candidate as a dto to transfer the data between different layers next records are good fit for dtos because they are concise immutable and automatically provide the implementations of getter methods constructors equals hash code and two string methods which are essential for dtos so let us go ahead and let us see how to use a record class as a dto in our banking application so let's go to our project in integer idea and go to account dto class over here and here let us go ahead and comment out this code so here just type public and then record keyword and let us give record name as account dto and next define the fields long id and then string account holder name and then double balance perfect so basically these fields are implicitly final so once we create this account dto object we cannot modify it because records are immutable all right perfect next let us go to account mapper class over here and here we have to change these getter methods because record basically provides a getter method name as a field name for example here let us remove this get id method and then call id next let us remove this and then call account holder name next let us remove this get balance and then call balance that's it now what we have done we have created a record account dto and then we have changed in a account mapper okay that's it next let us rerun the spring boot application and let us test couple of rest apis so from here i'm going to start the spring boot application so notice here our spring boot application is up and running next let's go to the postman client and let us test couple of rest apis so here first let us test create account rest api so here i'm going to create a new account with a holder name ramesh so before that let us go to the database table over here and let us select the rows from the accounts table so there is only one account holder that is sanjay next let us insert one more account so here let us give account holder name as ramesh and the balance 10,000. click on send button and there we go the record is successfully created let us verify in the database table and you can see here ramesh record is inserted okay it means the create account rest api is working as expected next let us test get account by id rest api so here let us select http get method and here let us pass account id 6 and then click on send and there we go we got the response of the rest api next let us test withdraw rest api okay so here let us pass the account id 6 and then click on send button so basically look at here the amount 10,000 we want to withdraw and look at here the response 
and if you go to database table the ramesh user has a balance 10000 and we have just withdrawn that 10000 and balance remains zero okay it means withdraw amount http is working as expected next let us test the deposit http as well let us deposit 20000 to the ramesh account so click on send button and there we go the balance 20000 and let us verify the database table and look at here ramesh has a balance 20000 next let us test get all of this rest api so here let us remove the id from the url click on send button and there we go there are two accounts in the database table and same we can see in the response of the rest api next let us test the delete account rest api so here let us pass account id 3 and click on send button and there we go account is deleted successfully it means we have successfully used record class as a DTO class to transfer the data between client and server. Alright, great. Hi everyone, recently I have launched a new Udemy course titled Build Pio Spring Boot Projects with Java Line by Line Coding. Well, this course is pretty useful for all the Java programmers to master Spring Boot by developing the Spring Boot projects. So basically you will build Pio Spring Boot projects step by step line by line coding using all the latest tools and technologies so basically you will learn how to build a banking application so in this course i have covered a complete banking applications like i covered all the basic banking operations exception handling fund transfer feature transaction history management feature okay so i have covered a basic version of banking application in this course you will learn how to build a personal expense tracker project you will learn how to build to-do management project using Spring Boot, Spring Security, JWT, all those stuff. Next, you will learn how to build student management system project. Next, you will learn how to build employee management system post stack project. As of now, so I have called these five Spring Boot project in this course. But in future, I will also plan to add a few more projects to this course. Okay. As usual, I am going to offer a best discount for this new Udemy course. So I am going to leave the you know discount course link in the video description as well as in a comment section okay do check out